You're on camera. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> spontaneous, like we do yeah, it here. Yeah, spontaneous. So Rochelle's visiting, um, <laughs> Rochelle's visiting Sedona from her wild trip around the Rockies. Wild is an understatement. To rescue and deposit two beautiful big dogs that were going to be put down, but now because of her efforts, they are not. That's right. They've gone to a sanctuary and they look amazing. That's They're beautiful. in their element. It's incredible. So, Rochelle, um, tell us, we should say, we should make another clip talking about like how we know each other. Yeah. But I've known you for how many years? A long time. Uh, at least 10 years. And? when I moved to LA through Jeff. Right. Yeah. At least 10 years. Yeah. And we, um, we've we made a video like probably eight years ago on YouTube. We did a few. Yeah. Yeah. And you're making your chocolates. That's right. So shout out your chocolate. Lover organic chocolate. Yes. And <laughs> um, also your music. Yes. How they find it. Rochelle Vincente Von K. Okay. I'll it's put the tag below the video. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You're just so fun and inspiring. Like what motivates you to always like get on the road and say yes to do things? Um, it's really funny. Um, a friend of mine was saying, you know, when people move to LA, they always stick to one area. Like mm -hmm. then if you don't cross over to the West side, then you're not going to see certain people. Like there's that whole attitude of people not wanting to, get across town and I'm the kind of person who I'll go to Malibu, then I'll go to right. Ojai, then I'll go to downtown LA. Then I feel like the world is out there and yeah. we should be in it. I love that. And I needed to hear that the world is out there and we should be in it. We need to be in it. What yeah. do you do? Like you're, you, you seem just, you're like fearless and motivated and energized and such a bright light. I must ask, cause I know you eat, you know, vegan and is it hard on the road? Do you have certain things you always bring with you? I always have safety packs. Like I'll have my Jackery, um, which is Your an what? electrical, it's, it's electricity if I need it. Okay. Jackery. But I mean like food. I always have items. certain foods, yes. You do? Like what do you always have? Um, well, I always have raw chocolate. Okay. I just candied a whole bunch of cacao nibs with coconut sugar. And so that was like my, because it doesn't melt, it travels really well. Oh my gosh. So there's that. And then I'll always bring, I have pure, purium powder. So I pack the power shake. I always have that with me. You use purium I too? Do. I sell purium. Now. Yeah, I do too. That's so funny. But I haven't in a while, but I, I. It's such good stuff. I cleanse with them and it healed my arthritis in my hands. And my allergies, my food allergies went away. So which, which items do you I take with you? I did the 30-day cleanse, you but did? I did it for about six months. I want to do it. And it worked. Okay. But it took that long for my body. And now I don't have food allergies at all. Okay, I love it. So, you guys, shout out Purium. I didn't even know. I know, we were both it's so funny. It. But that's what I pack. So okay. that's genuinely what I pack. So which items are Purium? Um, usually, definitely the Power Shake. And then the I'll berry take one? The, the berry one. Okay. And then I'll also have the... Um, biomedic with me but I don't always have it it's just that if I feel like I've had something heavy I'll have a biomedic or with traveling because there's non-organic food if yeah. I've had non-organic food I'll have a biomedic they help you digest or the enzymes they it removes glyphosate from the body okay so glyphosate in a lot of non-organic foods okay it's in the structure of the food yeah and it's designed to kill organic organisms our stomach's an organic organism so it destroys our gut. So it's been clinically proven to remove glyphosate from the body. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm so, taking it. I just didn't know. So yet. I travel with that. Okay. And then um, what's, sauerkraut. What's your favorite Vermont. green powder of Purium? Um, the, the Power Shake. That's okay. my favorite. But I also like the Camut. Really? Yeah. But what about not chlorella or spirulina or... Well, I'm not some, such a big fan. With spirulina, I love Blue Magic, which is a okay. different Got brand. It. Um, Got it's it. blue, and you can't take – I don't know, the green to me, I don't like I love the green, green taste. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right, cool. And sauerkraut and um, – Sauerkraut, just because if there's any food poisoning or anything by accident, 
then you at least have probiotics on you. Okay. So I take that. I always have MSM for food poisoning or anything. Um, mm -hmm. And then I also have the hydrogen peroxide to pretty like as in my safety kit. So if I hurt myself, I can stop okay. an infection from happening. So okay, this is that really on. cool. Um, and as far – it's just really just making sure I have some cacao nibs, um, some soup like shizandra berry and oh. hoshu wu. I've got okay. like the eight immortals from Dragon Herbs. Tincture or yeah, powder? Yeah, the tincture. So you're traveling with tinctures, not I powders. I travel with that too. Yeah. And I, when I was driving, I was taking that. Do you I was driving 12 hours a day and I was taking the tincture. That's awesome. And I felt amazing. Wow. The only thing yes. that I noticed was because I don't stop the car, I just keep going. When I got out of the car, I felt like I was still moving. Still moving. Just bizarre. The biomat that you're on is good for you right now. <sighs> so good. Yeah. Thank it's you. good for like <sighs> grounding. Yeah. Lie down. Definitely. Well, maybe that. I'm filming you. <laughs> it's not flattering. <laughs> no, really not. Under um, chin shots are very questionable. <laughs> yeah, but I feel us making a video. Like, she's the best chocolatier. So, um, we have a chocolate video from back in the day. We have a couple we, videos. So, pine pollen video. The pine pollen. Yeah, we pine got pine pollen. pollen from the tree next to your house. I know. Made it into a chocolate. I know. And then there was the Irish moss video or something. Oh, yeah. Was it? Oh, yeah. And then there was a hot spring video. I got to bring, oh, my God. Where we that went was the to best. Raw Food World in Ohio. I need to just follow you around. You're just so going places. So I'm going to get a list of places and Rochelle's going to send me. Yeah. And I'm going to go and report back. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to say to everybody? Just. Live life like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Ooh, chills. That's really yeah. nice. When we're together. This is just a regular video, and I wanted to say that Rochelle Vincent von K. I'm not saying it right though. Vincente. Vincente von K. But that's just because I'm Australian. Okay. Everyone says it's different. <laughs> well, anyway, we've known each other for close to ten years. Yes. We've made a number of videos on my YouTube channel. We have. Rochelle is a chocolatier. She's a musician. I'll post her links below. But oh. I just want to say that she's one of the most inspiring people that I've ever met. She's always on the go. She's always saying yes to life. She's going here. She's going there. She knows <sighs> spectacular people who love her. And um, I just asked in another video, Rochelle, what inspires you and, and what do you have to say? And it was really cool. So I wanted to say it here. Well, I live life like there's no tomorrow because we just don't know. There's no guarantees ever. Mm -hmm. So it's just... Being in the now and it's not really about even having anything. It's just being out in the world, you know. Less having, more doing. Yeah. More being, more communing with people. You just always say yes to things and you're always on the go. <laughs> like you just, you guys, she just rest. There's two big dogs, German Shepherd like dogs. They were like huskies. huskies. They were wild huskies. They weren't domesticated huskies. And they were going to be put down. And yeah. she offered to drive them from LA all the way around the Rockies. <laughs> Tell them of your trip. <laughs> to what? Your trip, what, what was what was the roundabout? It was um, from LA to Denver through the Rockies to, during winter. Right, like it was death defying. She had a death defying spin, three hundred and sixty degree spin, and managed to get herself not off the cliff into the side of a mountain. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, but you, they're they're now at a sanctuary. Yep, they're in the sanctuary and they look amazing. It looks, it's like they. Never. Oh, sweet. They, like, you look amazing like you've not dr driven 12 hours yesterday. <laughs> actually, and seen people all over. You see a friend here, yeah, then you see a friend there. I'm like, I know. It was actually 12 hours and then 12 hours. Two days of 12 hours. 24 hours of that's driving. That's a lot. And here she is, all like it is getting a lot. up early and going out to a vortex this morning. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I need to do my self-care. I'll see you. I'll see you at lunch. So we went to Chocolate Tree. We're having such a nice time. Chocolate. See, that's the key too. Chocolate. It's lots of raw chocolate. If you can have raw chocolate, then yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's such a heart opener? Like people don't want the chocolate for certain reasons and yeah. they just don't agree. 
I agree. Right? With you, yeah. You always have totally. chocolate on hand. She I do. She also has Purium on hand. I do. She travels with Purium. The 30-day cleanse. Yep. Changed your, what did it do? Well, I had um, arthritis in my hands. Mm -hmm. And my friends were like, you're going to have to get those injections. And I said, that's not an option. So I tried the Purium cleanse. And within a week, the arth <laughs> my hand, my, my thumb was like this. It was stuck. And it, I was able to open it up again, both sides, um, within a week. And it hasn't come back since. And then in like you did the cleanse instead of for like a month, you did like I did this. six months. Yeah. Because my body needed it. I just thought I'd keep going until – but I was, I was eating food in between and stuff, but I was just doing the – All the protocol. Exactly. Right. You could still eat. Yeah, you I'm can thinking about it. that. That will help my hips. Yes. Right? Yeah, definitely. It, like what most people do is not an yeah. option for us. We always know that we can heal ourselves. Yeah. Rochelle and I. It's just figuring it I'm out. Like leaning on you like – Because we're all <laughs> – Yeah. Because we're all different, and um, so mm -hmm. it's finding what works for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just noticed we maybe should be looking there instead of there. Who knows? Where are we fine. looking? <laughs> I don't know. We're looking there. We're both like looking off to the side because <laughs> we're looking at ourselves. <laughs> like I think we're supposed to, look, supposed to look here. Hi everybody. Hi. Look right there. Um, here. Is there anything else you want to say? Not really. Okay. Love her chocolate. Love her chocolate. <laughs> Love of chocolate. Music. Music. Mm -hmm. Rochelle Vincente Vaughn. Mm -hmm. And just fun person in general. Like, seriously inspirational. Thank you. Well, thank you. You are too, actually. Thank you.